there, there's nothing that people love more than sandwich card tricks with with twist endings. So today I'm going to show you guys a, a sandwich card trick with with a twist ending. So I'm going to I'm going to be using these uh, presser cards for for reasons that'll become apparent uh, later on in the video. But we're, it's just a an ordinary deck here, apart from the uh, the dope designs. Um, so that that's going to be a, a little bit more apparent later. So we have a card picked. In this case, we'll go for this one, the uh, the three of clubs. This card gets put and uh, controlled to the um, <clears throat> middle of the deck. Uh, but but here's the thing. Of course, I don't know the, the card. But I tell the spectator, oh, did, did you notice that before we started, I actually put uh, the jokers here. Now, uh, the weird thing is that I before we started, I put a card be between the jokers. Um, and I actually put the three of clubs between the jokers. Of course, they're going to react and go, no, what? Huh? That's my card. And I go, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I thought. So uh, here, here's the thing, though. Um, I, I know I didn't do that for you to see it. So uh, I'll do it one more time for you here. Look, you ready? Look, uh, the, the three of clubs lost in the middle. I just do a little bit of a magic move right here. A little bit of a magic move that may or may not remove the monetization from this video if done with a more vigorous action right here and see look the um the uh the four of clubs actually i uh, sorry the three of clubs i'm on percocet uh the three of clubs actually returns between the jokers but here's the weird part if i take the uh the three and i just uh, stick it into the, the middle of the deck here you, you see what happens um we'll, we'll try this again but i want you to make sure see look there's not a uh, some sort of weird uh, uh korean immigrant here hiding uh, between the jokers they're not like doing anything sneaky here so we'll just take these put these on top of the card box give a, another another little bit of a magic move here and you see what happens you, you didn't see it another another magic move here you, you see the um we actually get a card now here's the thing this this right now is Sch schrodinger's card because there's a there's a strong possibility that that could be the three of clubs the card that you picked but there's also an equal possibility that that's not the three of clubs and it's in fact another card but here's the thing you don't know that until i turn it over which which is why it becomes Sch schrodinger's card but um you you know what uh what card do you think it is sir you you think it's the three of clubs well technically you'd be uh you'd be wrong because that's the uh <sighs> those are the jokers um and this is the three Um, so that's the uh, twist ending there. So uh, the reason I'm using this deck is because for this particular version of the trick, you, you need four jokers. And I, I just, I bought two of these decks. The discount, discount dog. Get that discount. Uh, shout out to F Phantasma. Um, shout, shout out. So uh, you have, um, you need four jokers for this version. I'll be showing you guys another version that doesn't require uh, four jokers. Um, but you might want to do this version because that little twist at the end, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a big deal. So you, you recognize the moves here. Uh, so for this particular setup, we're going to leave these two jokers on top of the deck. Which actually, you know what? We'll leave these two jokers on top of the deck. We'll get an X card. This card doesn't matter. You know what? We'll get a card that really doesn't matter uh, be between the jokers here. We'll get a card that shouldn't actually exist because of its fucking ability. Not even to use a fucking condom. God fucking, we'll just put this piece of shit. Uh, you bend the cards and you put them on top of the deck and you're, you're ready to... You're ready to have intercourse once you put this inside of the box. Uh, the reason for that bend is so you could just lift them up and put them down a lot easier. If not, you'd have to do some weird fidget, and it looks um, it looks awkward. So here here we go. You have the deck. You take it out. Uh, you could already remove the jokers here. See see what the bend does. If you put a little bit of uh, upward pressure here with your thumb, all the cards just want to shoot out and you just put them there and it's it's not a it's not a hard thing to do but if you didn't you'd have to kind of fiddle around so 
Uh, that way you could you could show the deck and show that it's a uh, perfectly ordinary, uh, dope ass deck here. They pick a card. So this card is going to get controlled to the top. The way I do it, I just do this uh, fancy Charlier cut. I press down with my thumb, which which if you haven't figured it out, gets me a pinky break and double undercut that that bitch to the top as they say in the in the in the hood. So, uh that card is on top now on top of the two jokers. So it's going to happen is that you're going to show the card between the jokers here and say that you put a card between them. Now you could start with this pattern of, uh, see, uh, it's Schrodinger's card here because you don't know what the card is until I turn it over, yada, 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 whatever. You can introduce that later on uh, so that you have a little bit more time and cover for the switch. But right now you could say, oh, see, there's a card between a joker. What am I doing? I'm getting a little peeksies at the uh, top card here. So the way you do that, you get a break and then you turn the deck over and that should give you a little bit of a step there. So you peek at the card and you say, see, I put the... Um, I put the, the nine of spades before we started between the jokers. They should react, which gives you nice opportunity here to put it on top and do the sandwich switch that we discussed in another video, which I'm going to point at here, but I'm not going to link because I'm a piece of shit. So uh, what you're going to do, you're going to lift up all the cards here. So you're lifting up four cards. You're going to thumb off the top card and turn your right hand over, which again, fat discrepancy here, fat discrepancy here. Fat discrepancy here. They shouldn't see this. They should actually be seeing the uh, the back of the Joker here. But uh, it flies here, especially when you do this move. You turn the hand over, thumb off the top card. They think this is the card you just showed. Guess what? That card's over here, ready to be loaded all over again. Um, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'll censor that. Uh, so now this is an X card. This goes in the middle of the deck. You could lift up. The jokers here showing that there's nothing between it of course you have their card between it here they don't know that square everything up put this on the box say look i'll do it one more time just give it a little bit of a magic move right there M magic move that's all i'm allowed to do uh w with this uh, age restriction here if not any 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 more and it becomes a, a gesture of um pleasure so you show now that there's a card between and it happens to be the nine of spades. Now you're gonna do a, a tilt move here. So you're gonna push off two cards, pull back, or maybe you could uh, do a little bit of a buckle action here to get these cards, whatever it is that you want to get a break. Now here's the difference. You're gonna need a fat break here because it's gonna be a tilt. So you get a, your break there. You're gonna lift up with your thumb slightly, which lifts the cards up a little bit more. And you're going to do this, uh, this, this move right here where you're, you're just teasing the deck and saying, oh, I'm gonna put this card in the middle of the deck, but really you put it right there in your break. And to the world, it looks like the card is going in the middle of the deck. It's Tilt Marlow, uh, Dive Earning. You see how amazing that is? Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. That gets squared up. They think the card's in the middle of the deck. You're gonna do a little bit of a magic gesture, but you're gonna go a little bit uh, and do the sandwich load that I talked about in another video, which I'm not gonna link. Um, but you, you're going to show this Joker and say, look, there's nothing between the Joker. There's no small, uh, Korean boy doing all the work for me. I'm getting a break on the top card. There's no, uh, Korean boy. I'm going to put this on top and I'm going to grab this card with this hand to show it. But what am I doing? I'm lifting up the Joker. That looks kind of dope because it's, it looks like a double back, but this is the other Joker here that I've snuck under as I show this card with the left hand and say, look, there's nothing between it there. So now that allows me to place this here, square it up, put this back in the card box, do another little, another little bit of a magical move here and show that there's a card trapped here. Now at this point you could talk about Schrodinger's card or cat that you don't know if this is their card or not. This little uh, conversational bit gives you the opportunity to square this up on top of the deck, which you have a break there on top of the card. You thumb off this card, thumb off that card, and put this on top. So what that does is that now you have both jokers in between of both jokers. This is starting to sound like a like a Mia Khalifa video here, but don't worry. You have the two jokers here. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually do this uh, Ascanio spread type of move to uh, show just the jokers here cleanly. Now what you're doing here is that I'm just using this bottom finger to peel off the bottom card, using my thumb to peel off the top card, and then holding a double here with my left hand. What this allows me to do here 
is to just squiggle these cards around and make it look like they're loose, but really they're not. This card, I'm just doing this. Again, can't do that too long. And this card, I'm just doing this, just briefly, to say, oh, see, the Schrodinger. Um, as I gesture here, getting a break, this Schrodinger shit, see see what's happening? Uh, you don't know if that's their card or not. I'm getting a break because I'm going to do the uh, the flippant move here in a bit. But I'm going to do the flippant move. Oh, sorry. New cards here. I'm gonna do the flip and move under the uh, the cover of turning these cards over, this supposed one card over, and showing two cards. So I have plenty of cover to do the flip and move, even if it just so happens to be uh, really fucking shittily done here. Uh, so you you have all the cover in the world to turn this card over using the flip and move, as you turn supposedly their card over, show that it's two jokers, and show the switch to have happened here. So you're getting a, a one for two switch. You're getting actually two switches here at the same time. You're getting this switch, which they think is a nine of spades. You're turning it over. It's actually two jokers. And then they look back at the deck and it's now the nine of spades. So you're getting a, 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 a whammy there. You're getting a whammy. Oh, you don't have uh, four jokers. So I got you here. I, I pick cake got you here. So what you're gonna do is that uh, after the second phase, you don't even need the deck for this bit. You could just put this down. After the second phase, you're going to be left with this card between the two jokers. You go, oh, see, uh, um, right now face up, it's the nine of spades. But if I turn it face down, uh, it could be any card. You don't know what card that is, but you, you see what I did? I did this, this sandwich move here. So what I'm doing, you're holding the cards like this. Now this card is out jogged. You're going to turn the left hand is turning this card face down. The right hand is turning this whole deal face down, which you see what it does, it, it puts the joker, it puts the, the joker on the skin, and then it rubs the holes again. It puts the joker in the middle, but they think that's their card because of the visual retention here, it's, it's kind of nuts. So at this point, you're gonna square everything up. Their card is actually gonna be on top of the deck or on top of the little stack here. You, uh, the two jokers are going to be on the bottom. They think this is their card. So what's going to happen is that you're going to bring this joker down to align it with the bottom card. You see what you see what's happening? I'll do that from uh, from the bottom here. So I'm just going to bring this joker down and align it with the other joker underneath. So right now you have this situation. You have the nine here and you have the two jokers squared up here. But to them it should just look like you're you're adjusting this. Um, you're just adjusting the cards here. You're gonna grab this, which to them it should seem like it's their card. Really, it's both jokers. You, you see the, the ingenuity here. And you're gonna say, oh, see, look, uh, you, it's Schrodinger. You don't know what card it is. And you're gonna do the same thing pretty much, only this time it's a lot easier and you don't have to do a flip and move. So you're going to do this. You're gonna grab the jokers, turn it over as you show that they've transposed and you have a, 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 a punch rule, a punch right in the c the cock so this is a uh, a good trick practice it it's a little bit uh challenging if you don't have the two jokers uh the four jokers you could just do that last version if not you don't even have to do it that little switch in the middle uh is good enough to get them uh nice and ready for some for some dicking uh so do all the things uh the I'm gonna go uh, look for places that can give me a haircut, but at the same time, give me a happy ending. I see you again, when 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 I see you again. Oh, <laughs> shit.